Hey everybody, it's Holly from Visit Brainerd, and tonight we're going to be playing some cards. I am with Sean Pittman, who is the founder of the Brainerd Area Poker League, Brainerd Lakes Area Poker League. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the Poker League. I mean, I, so, okay, hang on a second. When I got here, we were just setting up, you were just setting up the tables, and man, immediately I had some questions. Um, the first question was, why can't you just use the tables that are already set up here? Um, and Sean is very particular. So, <laughs> I am very particular. <laughs> the reason he, did, he didn't want to use the tables that were here is because when they're butted up, you had a crease in them, and it's not smooth, so when you're... Slinging those cards. Slinging the cards. Yeah, they, they don't go across, they stop. So. so it's so interesting to me because I so I know very little about the game. Uh, but it sounds to me like I've been kind of mingling around here. It sounds to me like that's certainly the case with a lot of people. Absolutely. Um, but you guys, also sounds like, are pretty great about teaching folks like me how this game works. Absolutely. So how did this whole thing get started? You have an interesting story. Um, so I was born and raised in Vegas. Okay. And when I grew up, I started playing poker and realized that the game of poker is the only game in the casino that doesn't have a house advantage. So, okay. yep, all the other games in the casinos have a house advantage, but the poker, you're just playing against other people, you're not playing against the house. Okay. Um, so anyway, we came, me and my wife moved out to Minnesota, and we looked for poker games, and there was none around. So we started our own. And we started at uh, Roundhouse in Brainerd. Um, and we started with one table, and we kept growing to two tables, and three tables, and four tables. And at that point, was it just word of mouth, and you got grabbed some people that said, you, you maybe thought wanted to learn how to play, that, that was it? Exactly. We just, and then Roundhouse was um, generous enough to give us some prizes for people that placed first, second, or third. And that really got a draw for people. They were like, hey, I can play free poker, I can drink beer. And I can win some prizes. I mean, it sounds amazing. Exactly. And the best part about it is, um, if you don't know how to play, our, our volunteer dealers will teach you how to play. So if you want to just sit down and be like, I don't know, thing one about poker, by the time you leave that night, you'll know a lot more than what you did when you walked I, in. I would hope so. Yeah, a lot more. <laughs> so... You had, you had mentioned that to play, it's free. Absolutely, it's always free. How, how does that work? I mean, do you need a gambling license? No. Nope. Um, in the state of Minnesota, as long as you don't have a buy-in, it's completely free. Uh, I mean, it's completely legal. So all we do is we come in, we set up whatever establishment we come and play at, they give us prizes. Um, that's so what we do. you set it up with, we're currently at Brick House. Correct. Set it up with them. They're willing to give a prize because you're bringing in a bunch of people exactly. that are eating here, yeah. and it smells delicious in here right now. Right, with all the barbecue. Right. Yeah. Um, so win-win. Yeah. It's a win-win, absolutely. And then all these people get to meet other people that they may not have interacted with. Yeah. Um, we have all sorts of different people from all facets of life. We have um, construction people. We have realtors. We have ministers. We have somebody that works in the jail. We have. So if you're it doesn't looking, matter. It doesn't matter. So if you're looking for some people like know in the know and then come and learn and play poker too it's gonna it's a win -win. So, just so very interesting to me i love that you are from vegas and that you're bringing that little bit of vegas to brainer minnesota right right um where else do you, do you guys play um right now we do it at roundhouse on first mondays and then we do it on third mondays here at Brickhouse. And then throughout the year, we're going to have other games at other establishments. We have uh, a game that we're working on at Yasha Kombucha. Okay. Um, and some other places. This is just going to be pop-up, so you can follow us on Facebook. So and we always have events popping up. Yeah, I was actually I was going to mention that. Your Facebook account is pretty active. Um, you guys have been doing a really great job of keeping everybody updated. I know I personally look forward to it because I put you on our calendar for that. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but I really wanted to get to know what, how this works in the whole process. Um, so really it seems pretty easy. You want to learn how to play some poker? You can find you guys and figure out where you're going to play it. Absolutely. And you can win stuff. And you can win stuff for free. Hang out, drink beer, eat food, and win prizes. Sure, you can win. Right. So, some of my other questions that I had was, how long does it take to call every time you guys play a public tournament? Yep. So, once you're starting to play, you're in it. You're in it until you lose all your chips or you take everybody else's chips. How much do you start with? Start with 2,000 chips. And the pen. Yeah, it is. 
And the blinds go up every 20 minutes, so the price of poker goes up. Um, so eventually you're either going to win a lot of chips or you're gonna, the blinds are going to eat you up. In the so, but if, we, if those blinds didn't go up, we could just play all night. So, oh, I see. We kind of want to, you know, we don't want to keep the great house open past the bedtime. Right. So. right, okay, so about how long so, is a tournament? About three hours. Okay, that's not terrible, but, but good to know, right? I mean, people, people would want to participate, you want to plan that. Right. Um, I also think that the lingo, there's a lot of lingo. There's a lot of lingo. That you need to learn, and you guys are willing to um, help with that as well when you're sitting at a table. Uh, rookies like myself are all okay. Yeah. There's really only three, three lingo that you really need to know. Everything else is just nicknames for cards or a hand or whatever, but it's just check, ball, or raise. Um, those are the big ones. Those are the three big ones. Yeah. And fold, but nobody ever wants to fold. Okay. 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 I got it. I got it. Well, you guys have an interesting success story here. Uh, we kind of have a guest standing off to the sidelines. Lori, we're going to have you come on in here. All righty. So, Hello. you want to introduce Lori and tell us what her story is? So, Lori came to us um, not knowing much about poker at all. Much and, like me. And we taught her the three big words that we just talked about. Okay. And uh, she learned some other ones along the way. She learned how to play. And then she went to a charity event. A charity event. It was two weeks after my first event here. And um, so that's kind of what, what they taught me and what I learned when I played. Um, and beginner's luck. I ended up winning first place, which was a $600 Burns cowboy hat. So you're telling me that you played, you told me earlier that you played like during holidays and whatever, so very infrequently. Yeah, and it was like, I, I maybe played poker twice before I okay. went to their event. Came to one of these tournaments, learned some things, yes. took it on the road. Took it on the road. Took it on the road. <laughs> Yep, yep. We, I was at a horse show in Utah, and me and my daughter, me and my daughter entered the fundraiser, and I ended up winning. And so now you have become the love team of poker. Is that, is have, that fair? Yes, I try to make every event. Um, and you know what's really nice about the poker league? is they are so welcoming to anybody that comes to play. They will answer any questions. They will stop the play and make sure that you understand the rules of the game. Um, and so it's just a great, great night. It sounds like fun. it should be um, noted that it's not something to be intimidated no. by, and everybody is open, armed, and willing to help, and wanting to help. Yes. Absolutely. So has this, has this grown? Oh, yeah, by leaps and bounds. Like, when we first started, we had five people. We literally had five people really? around the table. And there was one time when we had it at um, Roundhouse in Brainerd, we had six tables, and people were still walking in the door to come and play. And we didn't have enough volunteer dealers to run that seventh table. And one of the players was like, I'll do it. I mean, everybody is just willing to jump in and help out and make it fun for everybody. So. Well, I think what you are doing here is amazing. Thank you. Um, congratulations to you and to you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. It was fun. Well, you guys, um, this is, as you can see, they're getting very busy here, and it's getting, the clock is ticking. Um, clock is ticking. They want to start promptly at 6. At 6. Um, so make sure you check out their Facebook page and um, get updated as to when the next tournament is and get yourself seated at a table and probably make some new friends and definitely learn some things, right? And, well, there you have it, you guys. That's one more way of how you can love Brainerd like a local. We'll see you at the poker table. Thank you.